What's up, citizens? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, MC Adventure City. Welcome to episode 27 of Greg Tech New Horizons. You may be wondering why I'm in the pause menu, because I've done a lot off camera. You can probably see it on the mini map. I basically moved our base. <laughs> yeah, why, you may ask? Because this was getting a bit cramped. We sort of boxed ourselves in, which was a mistake. So, I built a new base, literally, right next to our old base. And, and a lot of these building materials, like over here I use the same building materials I did for the existing base. But a lot of it is going to get swapped out for Z-Tone stuff because it looks nice. All our machines are here. I also got the steam grinder, finally. I've been putting it off for too long. Um, up, I had to upgrade our um, boiler tanks. I went at, that, was the, that was actually my initial push, was I was trying to get more steam generation, but I ran out of room in the basement. So look at how many coke ovens we have now. 24 coke ovens. Anyways, after we um, did that, I, well, actually, I moved the storage first, so that's not really valid to say. But... Um, we also have a ton of quests to claim. Where's our tips and tricks? I did some enderpearl stuff. I'll pick this for that quest. Survivor coins. We have. Where did these go? And that steam. Where's our steam? Oh, we just this is the hazmat. Also, I got the ULV transformer, which does give us red alloy cables. I didn't realize that. Where's our, put this in our blue bag chest, which I think is this one. Yeah. We'll go with the rest of our wires. And then we also, I also just finished, um, oh, this gives us all those things. Wow. Technician and chemist coins. And then we get another loot bag and some more coins. Let's go ahead and blacksmith and chemist. We have like so many LV loot bags to open. I'm going to hold off on opening them though. Also, I think I did this on camera and I just never claimed it. Where, where should we put this mushroom stew, honestly? I think I might put it here. One, two, three. There we go. That's that quest claimed. We have anything else on this side? No. Also went ahead and got cadmium, which that's actually working right now, I think, still. We're making more of it by centrifuging purified phalerite. So got that quest done, faster steel production, because I'm going to turn this into another stack of steel. Okay, so that means we're going to need to start doing this. I know we could use the steel grinder, but I'm not going to. There's our... I'm going to go ahead and also... Um, Cadmium, we have to figure out which one we're going to pick for this. I think I'm going to go for the beef burgers. Food's all look nice. Except I'll put it away for now. And we will take it off of Peaceful soon once we have, like, this base is done. I know I keep saying that and then I keep forgetting. Where's... After that, I'm going to claim the cadmium dust for this one, even though, I mean, is it used for much else besides this? It might be used as some alloys, who knows. Just for that one, and I think I'm going to pick the loot bag for the other one. Where's... There we go, um, pick the 32 oxygen cells for this one. And then, 
It should be everything in LV. Yeah. In MV, we still have that one quest. We also did a couple side quests in here. Like, I got that. Uh, I'm going to pick the fertilizer, definitely. That'll be helpful later on. Put this with our crop sticks in the same chest that the crop sticks were in. Anyways, what else do we have here? Um, getting around without dying. What was that? Uh, that was just a random a way to claim that. What about in uh, building better bases? Yeah, we got a few of these. This I will put in our smeltery. Because it's almost out of fuel. Where's our back? And then we also get this stuff, which put these in here. I also got an iron wand, which we get two more iron wands for that. Where's our nothing else in that chapter? Multi block goals. Uh, hardcore Ender expansion because we got Ender Pearls. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the MV loot bag in here. And then we have some stuff in Novice Thaumaturgy. What is that? Oh, it's just this. Anything else? An Enderman Kill Quest. Anything else that we can claim here? Doesn't look like it right now. Until I decide what I'm going to pick for this one. Um, is this done? Looks like it. Let me see. Can I get? Yeah. Okay. Let's I'll get ourselves 64 oxygen, and I'll go ahead and make a bunch of steel like this. Wonder how much can fit in here. Yeah, put that. Just 16 at a time. Okay, yeah. We'll do that first, and then it takes our input bus. Is this done yet? Recipe. Oh, it has to be circuit 11. We have to put circuit 11 in there, which is in where? Right here. There it is. No wonder it wasn't working. Now that we've claimed all the quests, what else can we work on? Hmm. 
Uh, I'll wait. We should probably get a couple MV turbines so we can run proper MV power without having to use a transformer in step up mode for all our MV machines. Us being only able to run one amp at a time. This is a lot faster, especially given that our bricked blast furnace is in use right now. Let's take a look at how this is doing. Then. That's fine. So that'll bring us up to like a little over a stack and a half of, of steel. Severely steam current light fuel is light fuel with steam in program circuit three. Ethylene. So. Hmm. Yeah, because I would like to get polyethylene, but but yeah.
Yep. I'm still not sure what I should do next. Hmm. Yeah, I'll figure that out, and then I'll come back. Be back in a bit. And we are back. So I've sort of come up with some stuff. Let me go ahead and find what I have unclaimed first. So in LV, I went ahead and got the, a magnet um, from Draconic Evolution, which is the first Draconic Evolution item we're actually able to get. It's LV for some reason. There's a better one in HV, apparently, that has a higher range. Yep, 32 block range. That requires magnetic neodymium and electromagnet from Ender IO, which isn't even craftable. Wow. Might be gated behind Thomcraft, who knows. That wouldn't make sense, though. So I also claimed this quest since we technically already had that. Um, I'll pick the large steel fluid cells. Actually, how do we get those? Those might actually be fairly easy. Large steel fluid cells. Oh, those take uh, bronze rings and double steel plates in the similar. So, so that is how many steel per cell? That's eight steel per cell. Okay, I'll pick that then. That saves us 16 steel for when we're making these cells. Wait, what? Oh, they must be in our... Yep. Here we go. Chemist coins can go away. What other quests can we claim? This one. Cure 1 LV. This one is an enchanted one that has a Fortune 3 book on it. And what else? Anything else in LV? We have this one, yeah. I'm going to pick the either the electrocene or the diamond plates. I'm not sure yet. So, throwing out the trash. Put this in here, put that in there. And then what else do we have here? Electrocene battery. I'm going to wait to claim that. I think that's the only quest we have to claim. Also, I... Um, Got an MV cutting machine. I forget where I put it, though. Yeah, there it is. So that means we can get this and this. And I really need to open some of these loot bags. I would like to enchant them, though, first. Although we don't really have access to enchantments easily yet, since... That gave us 16 rubber sheets, which is helpful. Silicon wafer. I'm going to pick... I'll pick the silicon. Why not? Technician coins 10, which we have to put in here. And then I'll wait to claim that one. And uh, we have some side quests here, like glider wings. That's something I've been putting off for a long time. What about our pick the tanned leather for that so we can get the next thing that we can get? which is piston boots. Let me go ahead and uh, what other side quests do we have in here? Oh yeah, this one, but I'm not gonna claim that one yet. Where is our, how to generate power? I also made this because, just because I was tired of using the transformer. <laughs> and being limited by whatever LV we were producing. So I decided to make two MV steam turbines so we can run two amps of MV. And I also swapped this out for a yield because it has better loss rates, rates that are not as bad. And then we have um, got th killed some chickens to progress towards the other thing. The um, one quest in tier zero. There we go. Any more quests? Any? Nope. So steel, 
tank walls we can't get yet until we get our MV assembler. But our next goal is probably going to be to get some more MV machines, like the precision laser engraver mainly. Or as an MV emitter. And two pistons. So we're gonna need, uh, thankfully I also did, this is how I was able to do anything with MV machines. I also batch crafted a bunch of MV circuits, where are they? We have 16 left, oh boy. We're gonna run out of these fast. <laughs> but we're also, we're also gonna need to, I should probably just move our brick blast furnaces somewhere over here closer to, so we don't have to run as far to get to them. But um, yeah, this will take five MV circuits total for the emitter and the, also batched a bunch of aluminum. How much do we have left? We have uh, 68. We were at 100. <laughs> yeah. So we need our, how much aluminum do we need? One, two, three, four, five per piston. That's where we had extra motors. I think we used them. What do we use them on? Oh yeah, the turbines. So we need more M MV motors. That's actually one more aluminum per motor. So let's go ahead and get one, two, three, four. Not four aluminum. Uh, that'll get us four motors. And how many do we need here? Two. Might as well craft the extras. How many? Let's get eight, actually. And then... We did use the rest of our copper cables, though. Didn't we? So now we need our annealed regular copper or regular copper. So we need for four of these motors, or for eight of these motors, we need 16. So let's go ahead and get regular copper for this instead of annealed. I'll run this through the wire mill. And then I will be able to run our I'll be able to run what? Uh what do I do? Oh yeah. I'm gonna run some more of um how many do we have of this? Let's get another stack of rubber pulp. Centrifuge all that. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me actually test this out with our MV turbines. Which this is, it goes, let's switch this out not for a gear but for a rod. Shit. There we go. Facing east, right? Yep. Used to be sixteen. Should probably get into. I think we can turn this into rubber sheets using a plate. Mold of the extruder, yeah, right. Yeah, and that's a doable at LV even. So need a plate shape and probably a ring, most likely, so we don't have to like. And we can just use up all this purple slime to batch craft stuff it, until we run out of it, of course, and then we'll have to find another slime island, which is not easy at all, but. 
get ourselves four more steel. How much steel do we have left? How much aluminum brass do we have? I don't, I don't think we have any, so never mind. I'll wait. And then once this is done, oh, we do need more cooper and nickel. Let's go ahead and see. For eight motors, we need 32 of these, 64 regular, so that's 16 copper and 16 nickel. And 16 nickel. that I'm gonna go ahead and see how much we need for two pistons so we need four more let's go ahead and get two more copper ingots and how much do we need for the the one emitter one more, so we need one more copper ingot. two more wires so let's go ahead and uh, do this wire mill start getting the other components besides the so that's just the machine hole really so we need one more copper <laughs> of course first. Where's our, our wrench? Where's our wrench? Oh, it's, it's in the other chest, in the other crafting table. Of course it is. There we go. And then we're going to need our MV emitter which we're missing basically everything for. So let's go ahead and put other things away. And then we need our gold. Well, Why do we have this random sapphire? I don't know where we got this from. It's probably one of these chests and I accidentally dropped it on the ground and picked it up in my mining backpack. So I'm gonna need one silver and one gold to get us some electrum. And how long does this take in the extruder? Extruder 15 seconds per. Oh boy. <laughs> we'll just run it then.
Let's go ahead and get the eight motors. There we go. Batch craft a bunch of motors. I know eight's not really batch crafting, but still a bit more than what I need for the laser engraver. I think two for the laser engraver. So then this goes electrum rods. Well, electrum rods need to go. Where's this? Our um, emitter. We're missing the circuits, two circuits and an ender pearl. So let's go ahead and start um, getting two circuits. We need more copper, don't we? Where's our, we need to clean up this, this stuff. Where's our brass king over here? Our soldering alloy can also go into this chest. Our steel can go away somewhere. And uh, Ender Pearl and uh, two MV circuits to get our emitter. There we go. One MV emitter. Should be a quest, yep. pulled out three instant okay so we need um okay now that we have this we need the pistons as well as yeah let's go ahead and get how many do we need for pistons uh two rods per piston so that's two aluminum that's for the plates uh, eight nine ten there we go like spike there. Strange. Where's our so let's turn two of these into rods. small gear. Which for the pistons. There we go. So our pistons and our emitter and our, we're just missing what for the laser engraver. Three circuits and which we can easily get out of the chest and Two and two um, more copper wires. somewhere. Oh, it's in our, it's already in here. This, 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 um, three circuits. Three MV circuits. And Yeah, that's all the quest needs. I'm probably going to pick the emerald lens. We are going to need an MV lathe, though, as well. Lathe. If we want to make the other lenses. Oh, God, this takes a flawless diamond. If we can get this with a... What is this? Get it with a diamond lens, which we can get that at LV in an LV lathe with a diamond plate. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. Should we have diamond plates somewhere, right? Yeah, we have eight. Okay, let's go ahead and start lathing this. 
And then we're going to need our precision laser engraver. I was going to claim the emerald lens. Which that, the emerald lens will enable us to get certain things for our... Okay, let's... Uh... Probably should move this up actually. Where's our wrench? There it is. I want to put this on top of our brewery. Sort of make it an array like we have here. With our. Okay. This is still going. It's almost done. After we get that done, I'm going to make a flawless diamond for the MV lathe. Is there a quest for the MV lathe? I don't even know. But I'm going to wait to actually make the actual MV lathe. So what do we need for the MV lathe? MV lathe. Flawless diamond. Which we can get in the precision laser. Oh, that takes an HV precision laser engraver. Never mind then. Looks like we have to do the stifter method. Still, we'll need another diamond lens anyways for some things. But we're going to need another diamond lens anyways for certain things. But, uh. Yep. And our emerald lens I will put away in here. And then our next goal is probably to get an MV chemical reactor. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but for that we need how many? We have the motor. We need a bronze rotor. Two glass, we have that. So let's get Two copper. Eight copper. And then we're going to get two tin. Make eight more bronze. Alloy smelter. These need to be wire milled. And then we need one, two, three, four of those in the witch chest. This one. And then we need after we get our chem reactor, um, Chemical reactor. Chemical reactor. So we have our bronze, which we can run through our extruder here. And then, what else do we need for the MV chem reactor? Do I not bookmark this? We need another MV hole. Nine more aluminum and two wrought iron. We need to make up a bunch more aluminum next. Where's our? Um, just two circuits and two glass, which we both have, which we have both of, and a motor. will go in the bottom, right? 
the motor. Yeah. Where's our this we can put towards our machine casing, which we then turn into the hole. There we go. After we get that, we put that here and maybe these two and these two. There we go. Another MV quest done. And that unlocks ethylene, which we can make. We can technically make it by distilling, like, cracked fuel. Just any sort of fuel, really. Wood gas might be a good one because we can use our paralyzed oven, which we haven't made yet. But <laughs> where's our ethylene? Distillation tower. Naphtha. Propane. Propene. Naphtha. Butane. Butane. Heavy fuel. Doesn't give you much, so moderately steam cracked. Gives you more. Probably the best thing to do here is is use ethanol. Which how much can we get with the amount of fermented biomass we have? Let's see. Ethylene. Get it in the chemical reactor with sulfuric acid and ethanol. We need four buckets of ethanol, which is how many distillery? Biomass circuit three. So uh, four thousand divided by one fifty. That is twenty seven cells of fermented biomass. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Our... It'll take literally forever, but um. Also, I had a weird dupe glitch with the fermented biomass, so we have like another stack sitting on one of these chests. I forget which one. I think it was this one. Was it this one? This one? I know we have another stack or so sitting in one of these chests. Yeah, there. But I'm not going to use it. I'm probably going to trash can it because I'm trying to play as legitimate as possible. So, what circuit does this need for ethanol? Oh, God, that takes a whole... A whole, um... Oh my god. It digs a whole um, 60 seconds at MV. Where's our... Also, what circuit does this take in the distillery? I think it's three. Yeah, circuit three. Are, this isn't set to auto output or anything, is it? Yeah, it takes 75 seconds per. So that'll take a long time. Maybe we want to make an MV distill it. No. Oh well, if it's what we need, it's what we need to get our initial polyethylene. Where's our. Which just requires a bunch of oxygen to an OV chemical reactor. Let's calculate this actually. Where's our, this should get us 100 something, right? 41. Just been thinking of a different quest. Where's multi polyethylene in a chemical reactor? So are we going to use this recipe? Where's our 4,000? One 
144, so let's say 27 batches, 27 by whatever this is. Forty and a half. So would this get us forty-one thousand? Well, we would need to use this recipe: four ethylene cells and twenty-eight oxygen cells. So four ethylene. What? Four. That can get us forty-one. I don't know where they got that number from. Per per four ethylene, we get uh, or per ethylene cell we get fifteen hundred. So that would get us six polyethylene cells. So okay. So once we get this done. I don't know which recipe it wants us to use for this. It just multiplies it by 1.5, so. So ethylene, this won't get us the full 41, which sucks. We would need like, what is 41 times 1.5? 41, 41 divided by 1.5. That is like 28. Yeah, so it's not, it doesn't do it by the oxygen though, which is the thing. It does it by the ethylene. I if it mentions that backwards here. Oh wait, molten cells store 144 liters. Oh. Uh, what? Of like molten stuff. That's interesting. That's what I was getting confused about. Oxygen that'll give us four molten poly, forty-one poly, molten polyethylene cells. These can be made. Do these require the MV fluid solidifier? No, these can be made in an LV. And then this is going to take a while to produce the amount of ethanol we need for for all of this. So yeah, anything else we can do in the meantime? Ethylene and chlorine get you vinyl chloride.
and I'll get it from, I think this is the forestry biomass, which we get from Pyrolyze Oven. Get it by brewing water directly. There's various things like crops and stuff like that. Take eight seconds per. That might actually be more efficient, so. I mean, it is more efficient than in the biomass. This can get you how much ethanol? It's two to one, and it takes, it's really fast, so. After we, how do we get this again? Uh, what do we need, a distillery for, for uh, ethanol? It is circuit one with um, this biomass, which we can get in a brewery with water and um, let's get a bunch of water. Where's our, and any crop really. I wonder if we can use um, this use otherwise useless natura barley in our brewery. We can, nice. Okay, let's run, um, get a stack maybe. And I'll, and I'll use large fluid cells for this. Where's our, we need our, so that is how much water, calculator. 64 plus 20 is two cells of water. A circuit have a circuit no it doesn't get us all that biomass that won't get us too much more but it's faster that's for sure it'll get us that'll get us 1280 And the distilling step is real, really a lot faster too. Let me, what else can we throw in there? Carrots. So to get 36 ethylene cells, we need 72 cells of the other biomass, which is 72 cells of that biomass times, let's say 72,000, clear. 20, that is 3,600, oh my God, that is a lot of wheat stuff and other crops. It's good to get a start though. Just give us a little bit of a boost for our polyethylene, not necessarily for biodiesel, but I'm gonna go ahead and use up the rest of this barley. Uh, nah. Seventeen times seventy five seconds is twelve seventy five seconds divided by sixty. That is twenty one minutes and fifteen seconds to finish the rest of this. 
that doesn't include the manual refill time. To refill that with more cells. Try something here. Try swapping this out actually. Forestry biomass, yep. Let's go ahead and grab six of these. I'll switch this to circuit one. And it should produce us another 500 ethanol. Super fast. I think it consumes a bit more power though, so. That's super fast. How does this do in here? Put our carrots in there next. Can carrots not be used here in the brewery? They cannot. It probably has to be grain type things. Do potatoes work? Since they're starchy, they should, logically. Yeah. And that works with 40 at a time. So potatoes are actually better than barley. Although they take more time, twice as much time to Speaking of which, let me go harvest some more potatoes in that case. I wonder if, um, what else is, it's wider, where's our, in terms of, probably should expand our, our potato farm then. Well, how good is wheat? good is it for brewing? That's only 20, just like the barley. Matic. Going to need Gonna use potatoes primarily. Seven twenty. How much will say fifty two potatoes? Fifty two times forty, that is another two buckets.
go ahead and throw this into our, our distillery here. There's like 500 more of that. After we get all that done, we're going to get the polyethylene. <laughs> Hopefully this episode. Forty times sixty four. Yeah. Seven twenty. Yep. And after we get polyethylene, that that um, enables us to do a lot of things more easily. So, How many oxygen cells do we actually have? Enough. We get the polyethylene. Where are any of these things? For HV circuits, I'm pretty sure, right? Do we need them for HV circuits? No. Yeah. 
but we probably we, I know we need them for the higher tier HV circuits. This is gonna be interesting. Once that's done. There we go. While we wait on that. Capacitors are used to make what? The higher tier circuits in the clean room. So then while we wait on that, we claim this quest. We'll go ahead and put our technician coins away. What else? We'll claim this one. That is not unexpected, honestly. But we still are producing enough steam to power what we have currently running. When we probably when we kick our blast furnace on, it'll kill our power, our steam buffer. Because I don't know why we're running out of creosote. Because supposedly. 24 coke ovens is enough for a max size liquid and solid boiler. I, I figured it might be our throughput through um, these, but no. Wait, why is that not getting any wood? Oh god, don't tell me. Don't tell me it wasn't able to keep up. Two stacks of charcoal to our cart. The cart stopped running, even though I have it automated so that it'll fuel itself with saplings. We ran out of saplings. Of course we did. No wonder. Fill it up with two stacks of charcoal. off. There we go. Where's our this 880? 
We're getting there. in our distillery. We need ethanol and what? It was oxygen, right? For the... For, um... Ethylene. Where is it? Or it was sulfuric acid, yeah. Duh. Which we made sulfuric acid. I forget where we put it, though. There it is. This is an MV chemical reactor recipe. It runs for 60 seconds. So... We haven't looked up our MV chemical reactor yet. Of course we haven't. We need to wrench this so that it will face the right way. We need to hook it up to power somehow. Where's our... this to connect them. And then, do we need a circuit for ethylene? Chemical reactor. Ethylene, it takes circuit 11, looks like, or we can get it with that. Yeah, circuit 1. Where's the Where's our... Do we want the ethylene? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Circuit one. Wait. If we do that, we have to put the ethanol in here and the sulfuric acid in there. Oh, gosh. Don't tell me we're too far from the. Oh, we never hooked it up to power, duh. Where's our. Um, this needs to go sulfuric acid there, ethanol there. That'll take quite a bit of time. Four minutes. Hopefully we have enough steam to run, run, run it for that long. Anyways, after we get our ethylene cells, Use the chemical dehydrator, but that is that really worth it? Right now. Uh, while we wait on that, I'm going to go ahead and. So the chemical dehydrator takes a robot arm and steel gears. Steel gears. The robot arm is the difficult part.
And then once we get the ethylene, I'm going to claim the polyethylene pulp as the reward to get extra. seconds or 56 seconds. I'm going to go for the this recipe that takes 8 seconds per um, per 144 ethylene. Do that. So ethylene, I'm going to use our LV chemical reactor for this one. I'm going to wait to claim that, and we will get our molten polyethylene using ethylene to get a chemical reactor we just get molten polyethylene where's our okay we can use oxygen in there and then the ethylene down here where's our... or should we do the I'll do the 56 second recipe actually I mean I think they're See, in order to get 41 times 144, 41 times 144, that is 5904. Yeah, I'd rather have extra polyethylene produced than, so yeah, so which, where's this? There we go. So that is which one? That is 7,000. Circuit one for ethylene, and then there are 20 oxygen. So circuit one. which is nice. It'll get us enough for 41 sheets. We also get a choice to get more ethylene cells, which is definitely gonna pay for that. It like kicks on for a slight second and then it just stops. I, I mean, I guess it works because it's staying above, but it's gra it is gradually depleting. It's staying above the boiling point of water. Where's
get the molten polyethylene, we can get polyethylene sheets. stuff for the SMD resistors. Oh wait, that takes an MV assembler. Oh well, I'll still get stuff for it. Never hurts. One thing we can do is, no, we can't do this yet actually. We don't have an autoclave. can do this, find tin wires. Let's get ourselves how many tin, find tin wires, that is eight tin wires, four tin ingots. We need more of these, we need nine more cells. a quest. I'll go ahead and get polyethylene sheets for our, where's our fluid solidifier? There it is. Wait a minute, we can just, we have this set to auto output. One, we're getting lots of ethylene as a reward here. Where's our? done. And now, what do we need for our transistors? We need 144 per 6. So that's 4 polyethylene pulps. So let me go ahead and claim our, our um, not that one, the ethylene quest. We need polyethylene pulp. We get chemist 10, which is right there. I will uh, turn 4 of these into molten form. Fluid extract by fluid extraction into our assembler. This is facing east, yeah. And then we're going to need our four silicon plates.
what circuit do we need for this? Not that. This. Transistors, circuit two. Sixteen seconds per. And now we claim this one, which I will pick the four ethylene cells. For that one. And then I'll pick the eight ethylene cells for this one. Uh, 12 extra cells of ethylene, which will get us tons of polyethylene. That finishes, we get transistors. So, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, weren't we going to make an LV sifting machine at some point? Here, where's our. That can probably wait at this point until next episode. Where's our sifter? Bookmark this. Yeah, this also takes item filters, which are lots of steel and zinc. So I'll put those away, and I will put this. Oh. Go ahead and put these away, and these away. Where's our 22MV? I'm going to pick more transistors. There we go. And what else do we need here? Could get more iron three chloride. Which, and by more I mean, yeah. Let's go ahead and get ULPIC wafers. Which, now that we have our emerald lens, which where do we put our emerald lens? PIC wafer, which we get it's one to two. So this will get us, and this we can use for our energy hatches. Where's our, yeah. That'll get us, that does take the MV cutting machine though. So a lot of power and lubricant. So um, yeah. Precision laser engraver. It'll take 15 seconds. Oh, I love that animation. Anyways, we need. Um, should I use a lubricant recipe for this? Or 84 lubricant, which is. It also runs. More power efficiency than lubricant. Let's go. We never placed it down, did we? Of course we didn't. Let's go ahead and um, this cutting machine and our last two exonial copper wire. Or we don't need that actually. Let me go ahead. cell of lubricant in here, just a single cell is worth. Go ahead and check that. This will get us. That'll take 45 seconds. Per, and that'll get us 12 ULPICs, which, we can, which we'll, we'll have to use those for the MV energy hatches, but those also require lubricant, so. More lubricant, so. And we'll need that to get stainless steel. But I'm gonna try to take things a bit slower. Not gonna try to rush HV like I'm not trying to rush through this pack at all. I'm gonna 
pick a loot bag for this since we already have the lens. And if we do this right, we won't lose it. So. Ultra low power ICs. Now we, this is gonna take our MV and we need the ruby lens for this one. And I think for this one we need um, green sapphire. Okay, let's take a look at what else we need for a ruby lens. Get an exquisite ruby at what chance? 3% like standard, yeah. I think now's a good time to end the episode. This is like, this segment alone is an hour and 20 minutes of raw footage. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. We'll come back next time now that we have polyethylene. I'm not sure what we're going to do next, but thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.